So in a short amount of time, I'd gained 20 pounds. My pants didn't fit, I'd be tired, I'd be hungry, I'd be cranky. No joke, guys, I was so cranky. Hi you guys, what is up? I missed you so much. I am so excited to film today's video and it's just gonna be a chill vlog, you and me. You know, Kev's not here, like he's sleeping, so it's literally just you and me. But before we get started, I do wanna say thank you so much to New for sponsoring today's video. You hear about them in a little bit, but if you're new here or if you don't follow me on Instagram, you might not know because I've only shared this very sparsely in like bits and pieces, but for a long time, I would say three to four years-ish, I really, really struggled with being healthy and my body image and just be happy with myself and the body that I'm in. And I really also just struggled with my weight. It fluctuated like crazy, which obviously made me feel super insecure. And so today I just want to share a little bit more about that journey and how I'm kind of, you know, within the last two years, I've kind of been in such a better headspace. And so I just want to share with you guys what I've learned so far, but I do want to put a little trigger warning out there so in this video I will be talking a little bit about you know my weight how it fluctuates the numbers um, counting calories those kinds of concepts so if that's not something that you want to listen to or feel comfortable listening to then go ahead and click out of this video I'm gonna show you guys my grocery haul tell you guys a little bit about my physical activity the workouts that I like to do things like that um, and then also just how I am able to keep myself accountable because I think that really is the biggest game changer. I tried a lot of different things, you know, like literally everything under the sun and the moon, I feel like, and I just couldn't find something that sticks. And I'm finally, finally in a good headspace. And part of that is because um, I like to use a program called Noom. Noom isn't like other weight loss programs because it is focused on behavior change. It uses science and psychology to help make these habits stick. And that ultimately can lead to weight loss and better results, etc. Right off the bat, like these are super big red flags to me. So I wanna let you know that Noom doesn't require you to do any crazy strenuous exercises there are no foods that are like off limits that you can't eat and you spend less than 10 minutes a day to get results with Noom. So low commitment, um, high return is the way that I think about it. Because the program is so tailored towards you and doesn't have these crazy restrictions, it is based around your own personal habits and your behaviors, which means that it's so much easier for these habits to stick even after you've reached your goal, which kind of prevents that yo-yo effect that I was going through. The best the best part about Noom is that they are working so hard to educate you, to provide you insight about why you are taking certain actions instead of just telling you blindly to do it. So to share my personal experience with Noom, so the way that it works is you go to their website and then they have a custom evaluation that you can take. It asks you different questions like what kind of food you eat, you know, what kind of exercise levels you have, how much you know about health already. But essentially answering all these questions helps them tailor and create a program that is best fit for you. I want to actually scroll back and show you guys some of the content from the very first day because I remember just feeling so very motivated. So on this first day, I set up my course, I answered all of their typical questions, but I really, really like this. So they are, you know, they have a lot of focus on goal setting and things like that. And you have to have a very specific tangible goal in order for you to, to have the motivation to continue. And I'm a strong believer in that. And so as you can see here, um, I set a big picture goal, things like that. These are some of the examples of different goals that you can set. Again, my favorite part are the little educational lessons that you get. This one is talking about caloric density. And so if you have 50 calories of grapes versus 50 calories of uh, raisins, which one is the healthier choice? And so the correct answer is actually the grapes because they are less calorically dense, which means that you can eat more for the same number of calories, which means that you are going to be uh, full for longer. I mean, I'm learning a lot of things that I didn't know before. And even if I did know them, it's great to just kind of have a refresher. And I love these little pop quiz components where you can answer. This reminds me of like answering like NCLEX question things. Around week two, 
to the program is when you get introduced to your goal specialist. Your goal specialist is someone who works with you one-on-one. -on -one. You can chat with her through the chat function and you can ask her different questions that you have, checking in with my progress on how my goals are. And it's just really nice because it's someone to keep me accountable and I feel like Personally, I don't always feel super comfortable asking people in my personal life to keep me accountable because they may not be up to speed on my health journey. And then one of my favorite parts of using the app is actually being able to track the food that I eat. If I click on this little analysis, every day the foods that you log in get broken down into a green, yellow, and a red. And so kind of like a traffic light, as you can imagine, green means go, eat what you want, uh, yellow means be careful, and then red is food that you should really be careful of. And so for example, today I did Unfortunately, I did have french fries for lunch because I was really craving them, but I logged them and as you can see, I only have 66 calories left in my red zone today. To be totally honest, there are totally days when I go over in my red zone and then there are days when most of my foods are in the green zone and that's okay. For me, I just really like tracking everything and seeing it distributed like this. Noom has been so good at just keeping me accountable. I think I'm way more conscious of the decisions that I'm making. I just feel so much better. I wake up earlier in the morning. I feel like a better person because I'm more productive. And overall, it's been just all positive things. Highly recommend you can check out the link in the description box as usual to take their free evaluation. Okay. Now, let me just tell you guys the story if you aren't familiar with what happened with my weight and my weight loss journey, etc. You know, growing up, I've always been a person who is on the leaner side and that's just the way my body naturally is built. I wasn't doing anything specific to keep up with it. Um, but when I hit high school and I became super stressed about trying to get to college, etc., I started stress eating. I literally thought I wasn't going to get into college, you guys, and the sheer stress of college applications just took such a big toll on me that I was probably eating you know, 3,000 calories a day. So in a short amount of time, I'd gained 20 pounds, which 20 pounds probably doesn't sound like a lot, but for my height and my body, for me, 20 pounds meant that I didn't fit in the clothes that I could wear, and uh, a lot of it was water weight, and so I could see very visibly that my face, you know, was super swollen, and my pants didn't fit and my arms had this, you know, like this butterfly flap and I could just see my body changing and I had never experienced that before in my life and so of course I felt super self-conscious. I mean, high school is already so stressful in itself. I just feel like gaining weight at that point in time was just not great. When I gained those 20 pounds, of course what I tried to do was to restrict my food, to exercise and to just do everything I can to lose the weight as fast as I could. So I would do these crazy crash diets, you know, not consume very many calories. I'd be tired, I'd be hungry, I'd be cranky. No joke, guys, I was so cranky. And it was always, I would lose the weight and then I would gain it right back. Uh, after that, I went to college. I got into UCLA, my dream school ended up being okay. And nursing school was stressful, but it was a different kind of stress. It wasn't like a, I don't have my future planned out kind of stress, and so, I think, you know, in college, I, when I finally stopped caring about the weight and I finally stopped caring about how I looked, that's when the weight finally started to come off. And so I started to learn to listen to my body, listen to when I was hungry, when I wasn't hungry. I stopped restricting and saying that like, oh, I can only have carbs for breakfast, um, for dinner, I can only have one plate of food. I made up these like crazy arbitrary rules previously and I just stopped all of that altogether. And surprisingly enough, my weight didn't go up it actually went down. Over the three years in college, my weight slowly, slowly dropped. Um, it took me those like three years to lose those 20 pounds. Um, and it was a slow and steady kind of marathon. During those three years, I learned to build healthier habits. I learned to listen to my body and to love my body the way that it is. I think you want to love the idea of what your body could be, but you can never have the body that you want if you don't love the body that you're already in. And it took me so, so long to realize that. And 
I just feel so sorry to my body for everything that I have put it through. There were times when I didn't want to keep track of anything and now, you know, obviously I'm in a much better headspace and so I like to keep track of things so that I can keep myself accountable. <laughs> That's kind of the backstory of everything. Let me show you some of the groceries that I actually got today. Okay, so here are some of the biggest things that kind of helped me kickstart my journey. So number one is replacing my snacks. If you know me, you know that I'm snacking 24 seven. I have to eat something like every two hours. And so previously that was always like pita chips, uh, hot Cheetos. I started just buying like small package, you know, fruits and veggies that I'd be able to eat super readily. Um, and so one thing that I super love is cherry tomatoes because they are so, so easy to eat. Like you just have to wash them. You don't have to cut or peel or whatever. Um, number two, during the summer, I've been absolutely loving watermelon. You just add a handful of spinach. It gives you fiber in the morning. It keeps you full for longer and it doesn't really taste like anything. Like you can't taste it at all in your smoothie. Again, for the lazy people like me, I like to purchase salad kits. So as you can see here, the dressing and the croutons and everything in there is like already pre kind of portioned. Um, and so it makes it really easy for me to just whip this into a bowl and have dinner ready. So here's my policy. There are seven days in a week and every day that I don't work, I have to do some sort of workout. And so a workout for me is either doing one of those runs, so a couple miles, or if I don't have that, then I need to commit at least 10 minutes to doing a workout video. I always focus on abs and legs. I just look up, you know, random workout videos and I like to switch them up so that my body isn't getting used to them. Also just like little things throughout your day. So like, for example, when I brush my teeth, I always like to do leg raises. It's just something that I've always done. And then before bed, I always do 25 squats. Little exercises and things that are built throughout my day, or if you're stuck on a Zoom call, then force yourself to stand up, get a standing desk instead of sitting. It's really been a long time coming since I have gotten to this point and feel much more comfortable talking about these kinds of topics and things like that. So let me know if you'd be interested in watching me vlog what I eat in a day, uh, my workout routine, things like that. I already filmed an outro, but it didn't include the catchphrase in it. So I'm redoing it right now. Don't forget that you're a 10 out of 10 and don't let anyone ever make you feel otherwise. And thanks again to Noom for sponsoring today's video. Bye.